Hello, everyone, and welcome to the May 2021 newsletter for Pure Tinnitus. This is Dr. Ben Thompson. We are here for the monthly Pure Tinnitus video newsletter on this YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. As you can see, I'm in a new area, a new place. I'm actually over at my friend's house. She is starting a new YouTube channel about women's reproductive health, and I came over to help film her first videos with my camera and lighting setup and help her with some of the strategy and organization for starting that channel. So that's why I'm in this new place and I wanted to make this newsletter video for May of this year. On the first Sunday of each month, I make this video newsletter to cover recent tinnitus news, some of the most important topics that have happened over the past month, and some recap and answer questions about the recent videos that I released here on my YouTube channel. You can also expect on the second Sunday of every month, there is a new video podcast episode release where I interview other specialists, doctors, and professionals who work in the tinnitus space. And finally, every Tuesday, you can expect a new video to be released here to educate you about tinnitus. The first topic that I wanted to address is tinnitus, COVID, and the COVID-19 vaccine. I released a video in the end of April about COVID-19 and the effects it can have on tinnitus. I created a poll on my YouTube channel under the community tab, which asks if you received the COVID-19 vaccine, did it negatively change your tinnitus for longer than a five day period? Make sure you check that poll and answer if you have already received the COVID vaccine. I'll be releasing that poll information coming up next week. On this channel, you can find the video podcast episode with Dr. Robert DeSogra, who is an audiologist, very well versed in the pharmaceutical drugs for tinnitus, herbal supplements, and the recent trends with the COVID-19 pandemic and how it relates to tinnitus. If you have experienced changes in your tinnitus related to COVID, check out all of those resources. And if you have any additional questions, write a comment and we'll do our best to answer that. Switching it up now a little bit, hope you're still with me. I want to talk about success stories for tinnitus. If you go on the internet, you will find that some individuals are sharing their success story because many people with tinnitus do get better, recover, habituate. That's what I try to guide all of my patients through who find me on telehealth at puretinnitus.com. When I'm considering publishing a success story of one of my patients, one of my clients, one thing I've realized, partially studying tinnitus retraining therapy with Dr. Jastroboff and getting a good analysis of the existing success stories out there is that I want to see sustained success. And what that means is a reduction in the severity of tinnitus and potentially a reduction in the volume of tinnitus as well. But for some individuals who experience temporary improvement in a relatively short time period, I don't want to publish that success because it may be premature. And my intention here is to be wise about this and to show that the real success is sustained benefit with tinnitus treatment, not a temporary period of silence or reduction of symptoms for a shorter period of time. So keep your eyes out because in the next few months, I'm hoping to release some of these success stories and potentially have some of my patients who I've worked with for a longer period of time now via telehealth at Pure Tinnitus, potentially have them on to share their story and I would have made sure that they've been with me for about six months before I would consider publishing that. Next thing to talk about here is that sound therapy is a big part of tinnitus care. And there's different ways to find the right kind of sound therapy. In my online telehealth practice with Pure Tinnitus, I recently started recommending ear level sound generators for patients who have hearing in the normal range, but are looking to follow the tinnitus retraining therapy protocols. Ear level sound generators, look like hearing aids, but they have no amplification features, and that provides consistent, sustained sound therapy, typically for a period of nine to 12 months, and those devices are used in the treatment of tinnitus and hyperacusis. So you'll be seeing more videos about that coming down the pipeline here with my YouTube channel, but also if you're someone interested in that, you can reach out to us, contact at puretinnitus.com, and we can direct you where to go from there. Now on a very different topic, one thing that is beautiful that I'm really enjoying seeing is that because my YouTube channel has grown with your help of watching these videos, commenting, pressing the like button and being subscribed, because my YouTube channel and audience has grown, now when someone goes on YouTube and they search for help with tinnitus, I may be one of the first five or 10 people 
that they find online. And when they watch some of my videos, my hope and intention is that it improves their condition. And after they find this YouTube channel and these video resources, they can on their own study what the overall recommendations are for tinnitus treatment. So if someone has tinnitus and they're in the first few weeks or the first month of trying to figure out how to get better, finding my kind of resources would be highly valuable. When I first started this in early 2020, I was not able to be easily found online. Someone would have had to be looking intensely to find my resources for tinnitus. But now because this audience is growing with your help, that people who are suffering immediately in that very acute stage of tinnitus for in a period of weeks to one month or two months, that they're able to find me and work with me via telehealth at Pure Tinnitus and get on the right course from the beginning, from the onset. So I wanted to just celebrate that because of what we're doing here. People are able to get the right kind of information early and reduce the amount of time or the intensity of their suffering or of their challenges during the tinnitus treatment period. So that's a big win in my book because now I'm having people sign up for consultations with pure tinnitus and they're contacting me with only having tinnitus for a matter of weeks and sometimes even as short as one week. So that's a great sign because the earlier, typically the better, that goes with anything related to changes in the brain and the body. So happy to share that, that's really good news. Okay, we're almost done. The last thing I wanted to share is that the company Neosensory that creates the Neosensory Buzz product for tinnitus, they were able to give us a 10% discount code which is the code BEN10, and you can find that in the description of this video. If you're interested in trying out that product, you can get 10% discount code by finding the link in the description. Now, do I recommend that product? Well, it's too early to say the research is showing lasting benefit with the product, but so far there are signs that this could be bimodal stimulation device that is having a similar effect as the linear device. So that's something to consider if you're wondering about how to start with any of those devices. Thank you so much for watching this video. And just as a recap, every first Sunday of the month, I will release this monthly video newsletter for puretinnitus.com. And the second Sunday of each month, you can expect a podcast video interview with another professional in the tinnitus world. That's all published here on my YouTube channel. And finally, every Tuesday morning in the United States, a video will be released on YouTube to educate and hopefully help you wherever you're at on your tinnitus journey. This is Dr. Ben Thompson here, founder of puretinnitus.com. Thank you for watching this monthly video and leave a comment if I can help you. If you guys have any specific questions or you'd wanna work with me, please email contact at puretinnitus.com. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much. Thank you.